Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. This is Miso Sapir and in this channel we talk about yarn life, my life and design life. In yarn life we talk about all things knitting and crochet. Uh, my life we talk about everything around my life and design life we talk about architecture, interior design and all things in between. So today we are having a tea time chat with the one and only all things Chris. Yay! <laughs> welcome 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 to my channel mm -hmm. so you can introduce yourself and tell us who you are what you do i love to delay from there as we have our cups of teas mm. karibu madam yeah thank you so much mrs sapir hi everyone welcome to our channel mm -hmm. or channel mm -hmm. well so i identify as all things chris in all platforms mm -hmm. i do when you started to... don't identify <laughs> nowadays you are so used to i identify as I, they they eat oh, ah, no, i identify guys. as it yeah mine is yeah so i am chrysentia winnie mm -hmm. uh, i do quite a lot of things am i supposed to mention all of them yeah like just say everything that you do like uh, in general as yeah. you know your day job your, mm -hmm. your entrepreneurial ventures like say everything ah well very nice mm -hmm. so well my day role i work mm -hmm. in the tech space mm -hmm. i'm a woman in tech girl <laughs> <laughs> woman in tech woman in tech hello in tech. Yeah, so at the moment i work in the database management department with mm -hmm. an ngo in nairobi mm -hmm. and uh, i just build manage and maintain databases for some projects mm -hmm. and then beyond the realm of academia I do sports. I'm a sports woman. I'm into sports and fitness. Yes, girl. For the longest time, I have participated actively in the women's soccer in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I've played uh, professional football and I've featured for several and top leagues in the country mm -hmm. from Kenya Women Premier League all the way down. And then about fitness. I am a lover of fitness. I love working out. Every day of my life, I preach and speak fitness because mm -hmm. I have seen what it has done to me, my personal life as a, as a woman. Uh, and yeah, that's what I, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I run a fitness program called Fit Squad. It is, I started it as a safe space for women to just work out without feeling any form of insecurity or self-esteem or body confidence. Uh, the motivation behind Fit Squad was to close, like, was uh, the gap. The gap was that was there in the fitness industry where men are so motivated and they work out every day. Mm -hmm. But when we look at the the women, the women sector in terms of working out, uh, it's not very like women are not working out as much. Yeah. So I went deep to try and find out what what might be the reason. Yeah, what's the issue? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I talked to a few women here and there, and of course now. That is what bad fit squad. Oh, wow. So aside, right now I run it as a more of a freelance. I I, I advise, I people consult mm -hmm. about fitness, mm -hmm. nutrition, mm -hmm. and what they can do to meet their fitness goals. I also do personal training, mm -hmm. and I do family like family trainings and mm -hmm. house training. So I come to your home and I train with you and your family. Mm -hmm. And I also do team building and corporate training where. The companies, different companies call me during their team building activities and I take them through fitness. I teach them about fitness, we work out together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I do about fitness. I love fitness, I love sports and I also love tech. So I think oh, wow. those are the three major things that define me. Mm -hmm. Sports, fitness and tech. tech. Ooh, yeah, if you go to girl. my LinkedIn or mm -hmm. anywhere, I'm just sports, fitness and data professional mm. wow yes. awesome that's a very wholesome introduction wow yeah. so chris what would you like tell for example there's someone out there and yeah. they're like why should i work out is it necessary why should i like uh, you know why should i disturb myself i'm on an eight to five in a pananga stairs yeah. is that enough like mm. what would you advise the layman the normal kenyan and mm. tell them what would you tell them the importance of work, working out is like it a later advantage than it to their lives and their normal day-to-day -day lives? Yeah, that, that's a good question and I answer from my own personal experience with fitness mm -hmm. and now also at uh, the experiences of those I've trained before. Mm -hmm. You see, working out, mm -hmm. the way you, you wake up every day to mm -hmm. look for food mm -hmm. and to find money, 
mm-hmm. to find sustenance. Mm-hmm. That is the same way you need to wake up every day to try and find and to try and, and achieve or attain your physical health. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There are always two different things that I always love to talk about physical mm-hmm. activity and physical fitness. Mm-hmm. That is why when a normal Kenyan Kenya says I walk to work so I do enough exercise mm-hmm. or I climb I, I pander stairs mm-hmm. so I do like enough exercise. Mm-hmm. There's that that's that that's more like um a, that's a physical activity. Okay. So see a physical activity is mostly the particular movements that mm-hmm. you engage your body muscles in mm-hmm. then now physical fitness is now these movements over and over again mm-hmm. that is now like more intentional you, uh, more, exactly okay. making up uh achieve mm-hmm. your physical fitness i would say like working out is a very important part of everyone and each and every day as you wake up you should mm-hmm. always spare like 30 30 plus minutes or 20 to an hour uh a day mm-hmm. 20 minutes to an hour a day mm-hmm. to just work out okay there's a lot of uh controversies and myths and misconceptions around fitness yeah uh like maybe so most people you will hear people say i can't afford the gym mm-hmm. so i'm waiting until i have the money for to me to start up. my fitness journey uh-huh. okay mm-hmm. so when we look at the dynamics of fitness in maybe Kenya, Africa, and mm-hmm. outside, mm-hmm. we have like if we take we have different perceptions mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. So maybe outside there, they mm-hmm. they they see fitness as their see like like food mm-hmm. as food for their body oh, for yeah. their muscles. Oh yeah. You see, 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 we see it as now. I have now the man. Now come let me start working on my hair. Squat king. Yeah. Squat king. <laughs> king of squats. <laughs> king of squats. And I do. Even yeah. day to day thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. So I think like people should just know. You should just be very intentional mm-hmm. about fitness. Mm-hmm. You should also know and understand why you're working out mm-hmm. and why you want to start working out. Mm-hmm. Like there are people who work out to just feel good. Mm-hmm. There are people who work out to to build their muscles or mm-hmm. to maybe uh, they want to participate. They're athletes. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want to do well in sports mm-hmm. or they want to do bodybuilding activities and everything mm-hmm. there are also those who work out because they are recommended by the doctor mm-hmm. maybe their health has gotten them to a point where they are getting sick mm-hmm. and maybe workout is one of the solutions mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. there are also people who work out because it's actually a culture maybe where their community they come from mm-hmm. or whatever they've seen growing up people have been working out so they work out mm-hmm. but it gets to a point in life where you have to start being intentional it becomes a personal goal mm-hmm. like me is a part me is nani and nani why do i really want to work out mm-hmm. so when you define when you clearly define uh your reasons as to why you want to work out mm-hmm. it sets you um uh, it sets you like it gives you um how do i say a good start and an intentional mm-hmm. start mm-hmm. and that is why you're you're never going to have issues of fumbling with your with your fitness life mm-hmm. or anything so i think i will i would ask people to mm-hmm. view fitness not mm-hmm. just as a thing of the rich or something that people do when you have money oh, yeah. but as something you do every day to build your physical health mm-hmm. to help your mental wellness mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. and be part of your routine because if you're fit let me trust you me if you're fit you can achieve anything in this world oh yeah exactly okay i don't know if i gave a yeah like, you a gave a answer. very comprehensive answer yeah. i'd like to ask what are some of the tips you can give people for example this someone who can literally not afford a gym at the yes. moment mm-hmm. what well, are there things that uh, we can use around us in just yes. our homes mm-hmm. that can help us in working out routines and stuff like that so that Kusikwena excuse that yo I cannot afford this and yeah. like you can give us examples of VR yeah, you can use this in your house something that everyone has in their house or something that people can access and maybe do how many consistent repeats to achieve a certain kind of you know yeah mm-hmm. well I've, I would recommend so many things mm-hmm. but I want to appreciate the fact that internet made us one mm-hmm. uh-huh. mm-hmm. so if you're someone who wants to start your fitness journey uh-huh. and you cannot afford the gym mm-hmm. number one know why you want to work out why do you want to work out and then just a question yeah, on that yeah. does why do you want to work out mean what goal or body goal or what do you want to achieve yeah, what are you working out goals, exactly okay. so if i want to uh, to be toned that's a goal 
yeah that's, that's a, a why goal. that's a goal. that's a why okay yeah. if i want glutes that's a that's why, a why. Okay, yeah. good. Mm-hmm. you see the reason your reason for wanting to work out mm-hmm. it is what uh, makes you understand what kind of equipment you need to achieve your goals ah. so that means if you're someone who wants to build your muscles or mm-hmm. you want to turn you mm-hmm. really need weights uh-huh. so in whatever you can access the weights whether it is in the gym mm-hmm. or, or in your house <laughs> or, in your, or by them in your house mm-hmm. you have to find a way of getting that for you to be able to do what to achieve your goals and can i use for example yeah this is me in the house i want mm-hmm. to gain muscle and stuff mm-hmm. but i don't have the dumbbells and whatever yeah can i like use for example water bo- bottles yes the five uh, five whatever liters five liter mm-hmm. then equivalent to whatever grams then i use them to do whatever i need to do. yeah all you need is the weight so anything okay. that carries weight you just oh. need to do the exercise in its right form nice. you only need the weight okay you need the weight and uh-huh. and a particular exercise the right form of doing that exercise which you can get online which you can get online okay so good. you only find a creative way of having of of maybe coming up with your weights like mm-hmm. for example me mm-hmm. when i used not to, when i could not afford the gym mm-hmm. i used to fill water in my five liter containers yeah and then i could do the uh, split squats nice. or just carry them you know that's lift them for my for my biceps and triceps mm-hmm. and everything and I don't know it was just working well for me nice. because at the end of the day you feel the weight and your body of course tells you that it feels the weight through the sweat mm-hmm. and maybe the, uh, the the energy you feel or how you breathe and mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. but also if you're someone who just wants to work out to be fit mm-hmm. or everything you can just have a rope nice. and skip, skip by the, the way rope, yeah. if you're if you're someone who really wants to lose weight mm-hmm. me I can say you only need a rope mm-hmm. and a good diet that's nice. all. So every day, you just give yourself targets. Like if I start with maybe 20 skips today, mm-hmm. every day has to be different. Tomorrow I had 10, 10, mm. 10. But if you can get to a point where you can skip a thousand a day, you're good. So wow. every day you skip a thousand before you leave. That's all you need for your physical fitness. Nice. And you're good. And then, of course, you eat, eat right. Mm-hmm and you'll achieve your goals nice. so around the house you can just be creative just set a space where you can move maybe mm-hmm. while skipping or everything mm-hmm. also you don't even need a skipping room you can do things like jumping jacks mm-hmm. where you just you know like you just jump it's a full body workout because your muscles feel the workout oh yeah your legs your every everything okay. exactly nice so, so it's, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. it's okay. Mm. So before we finish, you've talked on mm. skipping as a full body workout. Yeah. So like personally, I prefer swimming. Mm-hmm. So can I just swim like at least um, several times a week and call it I've, I've, I've worked out? Or do I need an extra whatever? Because if, for example, I, I just want to be fit and toned, mm-hmm. I don't have any specific body parts that I want to work on. Yeah. I just want to be toned and fit. Yeah. Can I have like swimming only or jumping rope only as the main thing I do and that's it? Yeah, for sure. First of all, swimming is a very good uh, general body workout. Nice. I don't know. Because you see when you swim, you're involving all your all muscles. Your body. And most of yeah. the time, uh, yeah. people who have issues with, with working out most mm-hmm. of the gym, they advise to go and swim. swim because when you swim, <laughs> see when you swim, mm-hmm. you never focus on the pain you're feeling in your arms. Yeah, you're yeah, always just having Enjoying fun. the, the whole well, When you're at the gym and you see the weight, at mm-hmm. some point you're like, oh my god, it's heavy I already. Know. But you don't know how much weight you try to push in the, push water. In the water just for you to find that balance. Yeah. Okay? And also to so, move. Yeah, swimming mm-hmm. is a very good exercise, and that's why we do water. We do high how do you hydraulic call it? uh, workout. It's called uh, something aerobics. Uh, water aerobics. It's, it's water aerobics, but it has a name. Oh, okay. It has a name. Most people, these these are uh, seniors mm-hmm. and the aged. We mm-hmm. just take them to the swimming pool with a few weights and we ask them to walk in the water ah. as they do this because they don't for, they don't feel the heaviness at that particular moment. They're just enjoying the water, but what oh, they don't wow. know is they're working out a lot. Swimming is good if you can stay consistent consistent in your swimming days it's good wow yeah yay guys yay guys so yeah. guys that is imagine in that short period of time we have learned so much from mm. all things chris kindly yeah. go and follow her you'll find the links to her socials on the description yeah. and if you want to sign up i'll also leave her contact on the description and yeah. if you want her to come back to this channel and talk more <laughs> about working out and fitness yeah. kindly comment because mm-hmm. if you don't tell us yeah. Yeah. So so comment follow share yeah, subscribe 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 we're on the yeah. road to 1000 subscribers guys let's do this yeah, yeah. 
So bye and see you next time. Bye guys. Have yourselves a good weekend. Yes. Yeah. Bye. Bye.